Okay, that leads me to my next question. I always ask about rituals, and people that listen to this podcast know that I suck at writing. <laughs> so I love the idea of a ritual to get me in the mood for writing. Right. So what, what are your rituals around writing? Do you have anything like that where you maybe sip a, sip a scotch or smoke a cigarette or pop a bunch of Tylenol? Do you have anything? Or just somewhere you have to be? Um, it's not necessarily that I have to be somewhere. I'm pretty mobile about that. I've written in a number of uh, sketchy locations, but I can say that um, like sort of mentally lubricating is helpful with a little glass of the, the booze. Yep. Uh, or if it's a particularly stressful day and I feel like the world's going to end, I have to take a clonopin. <laughs> Okay. And that will just kind of take the edge off okay. of like, you know, whatever demons are at the door. So you're a real writer. I've had some writers on lately that they're like, no, I can't do anything while I'm writing. And I'm How like, How do they survive? Charles Bukowski would roll in his grave if he heard that. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. Do you write in the morning? Do you write at night? Um, I write uh, kind of, I don't, I don't ever clock out, you know? I'll, oh, I'll write a look lot. at that. And part of it is because um, I'm married to a TV writer, and she's constantly looking to do her own stuff, but she oh, can't funny. do that on, on the clock. So she right. comes home from a day at work, and she's like, oh, that was a terrible day at the office. I just need to in do the my writer's own room thing. Or whatever, yeah. And she'll go, and I'm like, well, if she's going to ride in the evening, I might as well oh, take a funny. couple of hours in. Uh, guilt always gets me back. Yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> like, you know, I'm in the middle of, like, you know, playing... Uh, Xbox or PlayStation, and like, oh, I gotta, I gotta go right now. You know, so, are you a big gamer? You get away oh, yeah. from it to game? Yeah, that's my meditation. Like, if I need oh, to reset funny. my clock somehow, if I get stuck somewhere, I can let all that sort of go in the like background processors as I play a game. And, that's and great. A lot. Do you do you do like first person shooters or something, or what, or like mind puzzles? I do. I do FPSs. I do indie games. I do like like just this week, I went back and played a little more of Tom Clancy's The Division. Oh, nice. And then I went over to Little Nightmares. Oh, funny. So I'm all that's, over the place. See, that's in line with your, your horror writing, I feel like, almost. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. This is great. Give me more. What, uh, what other rituals do you got? I love all this. Uh, well, I, do, I have a lot of uh, interesting little hacks in order to break through the resistance. The resistance is the biggest problem. Yeah. It's the paper tiger. I know it's not real. Yep. But yet there the is... The war of art. Resistance. Yeah, absolutely. Great Steven book Pressfield. to read. Yeah. And, and he talked a lot about how you have to like... You know, work at it. And it was even the ten thousand hours that was a quote that was used. At a, Pressfield didn't use it. I think that, that came out of Malcolm Gladwell. Right. But the quote's all about how you got to put in the hours, and once you do, you sort of get past a hump and you know, right. call yourself sort of a, a a known. It's a known area for you. At that yeah. Point. Um. Uh. But uh, there are so many ways that my uh, sort of my my brain or my ego or whatever it is who's challenging me that day can trick me into saying that I'm not going to be able to write. Right. Um. And, uh, you know, like even now, like the, the best thing is, uh, the web, the best weapon against me is as soon as I sit down and do any, like two words, it's like, well, that's not Oscar worthy writing. Is <laughs> oh it now? no. Uh, it's terrible. So like I get a paralysis on that level and I have yeah. ways to work around it. So what are your hacks? Uh, I have a number of them. Like and, what? Uh, one tool is, uh, I challenge myself to write the worst page possible. Oh, like the, the worst version. That's an old improv like exercise. Do stupidest. just do bad improv. Do really bad improv. Oh, interesting. And just have to do it. Fill out a page. Yeah, uh, yeah. just cringe worthy. And 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 it, usually it, it can be that. Uh, but now and then you accidentally stumble upon something that's a good truth in there oh. that isn't actually the worst thing at all. Right. Um. And it just it's it's you know it's pulling the lawnmower engine. It's it's just getting it started. Sure. And once, that's great. Once you have words on a page, some part of your your muscle memory kicks in. You're like, oh yeah, we do this. Sure. We do this every day. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. Any um, other one? <laughs> another is. I'm uh, just gonna steal info from Intel. <laughs> Let's do this. Life hack. Let's do this right now. Pro okay. tips. Uh, another pro tip is um, I will just uh, – sometimes it's it's weirdly – I, I become my grandmother where she's the one that had plastic on the furniture and the special china for when like sure. the Pope came over <laughs> or whatever. Like we never use that. We never sully that. But like I end up treating my script document that way sometimes. Okay, if sure. I, if I've got a good 30 pages and I'm feeling, oh, that's a really good first act. And then I sit down I'm like, oh, I don't want to – I don't want to. Move. Oh, how am I gonna? I'm gonna mess it up. Right, you're precious like, about I'm it. I'm precious about it. That's the way how that I sometimes am. A lot. Artists are sketch artists. I have an artist friend of mine who like they get a new notebook and they're like, and that 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 clean notebook. They're right. Like, I don't want to do a crappy sketch here. My first, you know. So there's a weird pressure there, and I have the same thing with the script. And so what I do is I will open a brand new document, or sometimes I will just copy that file and ma- name it Vomit Draft or something oh, terrible funny. like that. Oh, funny. Sure. And, and, and consider it a sandbox. Sure. 
um, and then play around with it that way. Sometimes I have to bring my characters into a completely different environment, like an interrogation room. Yeah. And I start questioning them, like, why aren't you doing what I want you to do? Uh, and <laughs> why are you here in the scene anyway? I've asked, I've had, I have three different cop characters that are basically just versions of me talking to whatever. Who, who and you write about. all of this. And I write That's all of That's so funny. I have to make sure it's writing because if I don't do writing as a way to get in, I'm not really. I'm, it's not. It's not effective. You know. It's yeah. Like, I'm going to start writing by watching this movie. Like, right. does it work for me? No. I have to actually be writing. This feels like just like writing exercises you're doing. The almost. writing exercises. just like improv. I'm projecting on improv because Completely. I do a lot of improv. It's that. But it's exactly like that. Where it it's, is. Where it's just like you're typing and but doing different variations of typing. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. I like that. Do you do like egg timers and stuff? Do you like time? You're like here's 20 good minutes, no internet, no games or anything. I do the twenty minute thing. It's interesting that you said twenty because uh, I'd read uh, that the way that that Navy SEALs got through really uh, difficult or, ordeals is they just block it, like just give me the next twenty minutes, right? And they just focus on that and they don't focus oh, wow. on that. You're going deep, Navy SEAL stuff. Yeah, t- and I was tricks. Like, I was like, <laughs> that is so badass, and I want I want to have like one tenth of one percent of a Navy SEAL in me somehow. That kind of like that vibe, and so I'm going to go with that little mindset for. Writing an action comedy or like well, uh, now I'm yeah. picturing you like hunkered down behind like a barrier <laughs> yeah, that's writing right. that's right <laughs> like Cover a true me. Navy SEAL I'm gonna do the next act you know like whatever it is <laughs> that's hilarious okay so something I struggle with in line with the preciousness is like when I sit down at final draft I just hate I'm like super organized and super anal like that good and like getting I just cannot find ways to like or see everything I want to type and the different. Like, I try to do split screen where I have the scenes over here and then the pages over here. But right. how do you go around that? Like, a movie like Arrival, if I'm writing that, I'm getting lost in who knows what, trying to figure that shit out. So, like, when you're writing Arrival, how do you get around the organization and everything? Um, I have to start big and work my way down to the more granular level as right. I go. Do you uh, do that on a board? Do you do that on different documents? How do you organize that all? I, I've tried all of that, really. I, I'm kind of a slut that way. And then I'll just go and, and any different method, I'll give it a shot and see how it works. The early days of Arrival were um, because I tried to pitch it first. And then every studio were like, that's amazing, hard pass. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I had cards and I had on, I had a, on a cork wall in my, uh, in my apartment, I had it, had it split into two halves. And one half was really solid like story architecture of how does this thing, how is this built? Right. Where's the spine? Where are the major choices of the characters to yeah. make sure are they driving the plot? And the other half was like the you know, the side of the brain that's like, woo! Right. And it's like flotsam and jetsam. It's bits of dialogue. Okay. It's like uh, things I tore out from magazines of like, oh, Jeremy Renner's going to wear this ma- this jacket. Or like, you know, whatever weird shit like that. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a screen cap that I got from the internet that then I printed out and I put it there. And it's, so it's like a mood board almost. That's the really, right. It's this massive pile of, of great little tidbits of information. But it's a physical cork board. But it's a physical okay. cork board that has this lopsided, all this cool junk that I'm excited about. That makes no sense to anyone but you. no sense to anybody but me. I like and that. It's all over the place. And then the other that's a really solid spine that anybody can walk in and go, well, there's a movie. Oh, uh, okay. Um, that's but it, interesting. But it feels dry. It's sure. Very dry. And, and it's almost like a plug and play type of thing. Yeah. That you bit. visualize. Yeah. And I get a critical mass of all of that at some point in time, usually when stuff starts falling off the board. <laughs> <laughs> the board that well <laughs> i'm picturing the beautiful mind character right now you just getting lost because you wrote that alone I did. and that movie like when she went back and got she went to the future to get the info she need i just my mind exploded so i'm picturing you in like a shed in your backyard just losing your shit yeah yeah i'm like <laughs> and you, your wife walks in and she's yeah. like what are you doing what in the world eric <laughs> she's like did you get into my clown of it again no, uh, it's it's a lot like that, but you do get to a point where you're like, I have to start actually writing it. I have to get an outline, right. a treatment, some sort of document that makes this sort of a coherent uh, narrative, and uh, and then from there we went we went deeper to scripts. And once I've got all that information that I can always fall back on, and I have a history with the project, once I get to script pages, I'm like, okay, I have a sense of what I should. Right. Do. So you go you go top down. You go yeah. Log line to scene to whatever peaks and valleys, and then at yeah. the very end, you do dialogue essentially. Uh, well, again, the well, you have bits of dialogue, bits of dialogue stuff. in there, little lines of like stuff that's like that's what that character sure. is, just in a bit of dialogue. Yeah. I like that. 